Hey, welcome to another graphics engine devlog. In this video, I want to share a few things I've been working on in the past months. And first thing is volumetric lights. So I got the screen space volumetric light implemented. And this is a classic technique, which a lot of AAA games they used in the past to, especially to handle god rays when they are emitted from the sun. So it's a sim situation where you have a very far light source, like the sun or the moon for night scenes. And you have some, this kind of fog effect, where if you look in the direction of the light, you can see light shafts coming from it. It works quite nicely, and it's especially a very cheap effect to have, because it's only it only works inside the screen space. So I can make the effect stronger by increasing the absorption. But if I start to look, to rotate my camera, and the light position, it goes outside of the viewport, you can see that the effect disappears. I'll leave a link in the description to this NVIDIA paper, which shows how to implement and s more details about it. But that's pretty much it. The next thing that I want to show are shadow maps. So I got a very basic implementation of shadow maps because I only need them to do some of the more complicated volumetric light effects. I'm still planning to use ray traced shadows as the main approach to render shadows. But I got uh, some nice things here, as you can see in this red debug image. Whenever I move my camera, this is showing the shadow map visualization. So you can see that it is always centered where the camera is looking for. And that's because I'm doing the first step of the cascade shadow maps, which is reprojecting the view first and centering the shadow matrices in the bounding box of the view first. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And the last thing that I want to talk about is debug drawing. So it's very useful to have a way to render lines in the engine. And I came up with this API where I can call it from anywhere I want in the code base to render primitive shapes. All of that made up of lines. So for now I have cones, cylinders, spheres, rectangles, and boxes. But I can very easily add more primitives. For each of the debug shapes, I can set the thickness of the line as you can see here in the cone, and also change the color. They are also dynamic, so if I have this cube here centered where the dragon model is, if I move the dragon, the cube also moves. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, don't forget to leave a comment and also check the GitHub repository of my engine.